Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I guess I should probably welcome myself back as well since I've been gone for God knows how long. But I'm happy to be back and bring this Valentine's Day look to you guys. It's really fresh and it's actually not a lot of makeup. Maybe it looks like it, but I feel like it wasn't. So hopefully you guys enjoy this look and if you want to see how I got it, then keep watching. Okay, so first I'm going to start with my... Pores No More Dr. Brandt Primer, and this is a pretty nice primer, it keeps your makeup, kind of controls the oil. I'm honestly still debating whether I really like it or not. I had heard really good reviews on this product, but for some reason I just, I don't know. I don't know if I really like it, if, I really, if I'm really wowed by it, you know. But it's not a bad primer. And for the rest of my face, I'm just going to use a Smashbox primer. Just to really help my makeup last and go on smooth. So as this is a Valentine's Day look, I don't want it to be very cakey. I like to feel, you know, you're going to be with your date and everything or whatever. If You know, if you have one and if you don't, that's totally fine. You can go out with your friends or have like girls day to yourself. But, you know, like I said, if you have a date or something, you're looking at each other, you don't want to look like you have cake all over your face so I'm gonna be using my Maybelline Maybelline Dream Wonder Fluid Touch Foundation because I feel like this is a very lightweight foundation that is not cakey whatsoever and I'm just gonna put it on my face like that And perhaps a beauty blender isn't the best option to use with such a liquidy product, but I'm going to use it because honestly, the more it soaks up into this, it's better for me because I, like I said, I don't want to look cakey. Okay, well that's that for me. Now I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me concealer. I still love this concealer to this day. I just love it that it's creamy and it never dries up my under eye area. It has a pretty nice coverage. I feel like it even helps minimize my pores. And it's a great price. So I'm just doing a little bit of highlighting with this. and going over any darker areas on my face to even it out. And I'm going to just go over this with my Maybelline Fit Me powder in the matte and poreless formula in the shade 120. And I'm just going to lightly go over my face just to make sure that this makeup is set. Especially on my T-zone. This is a very nice powder from the drugstore if you guys are looking for a new one. It has a tint of color to it. Okay. And I'm going to use this under my eyes as well. So now for my eyes, I'm going to be using this shade by Hikari. It's called Ming, and it's a really pretty, softish, glittery pink. It's really, really subtle. It's kind of like a mauve-ish pink. It doesn't show up crazy on your eyes, but I think that's an, this is a really perfect shade for Valentine's Day. And I'm using a flat synthetic brush. And I'm just putting that all over my eyelid, and I'm not taking it any higher than that. And now you can take any shade from a bronzer or anything. I'm just going to use the bronzer in my Cosmetics Naturally Radiance palette. 
Just taking the bronzer that's in there and I'm going to use that for my outer corner. And just make sure that you blend that out as best as you can. And now I'm going to just take the white shade from this Lorac Lust, Love Lust and Lace palette. And I'm just going to take the white shade, like I said, and put that on my brow bone. And I definitely want to do like a little wing, just because you, I want my eyes to be more flirty looking. So I'm going to use my, I'm going to use my Tarte Liquid Liner, Precision Long Wear Liner. And I'm just going to do a really thin winged liner. And as you can see, I didn't start the liner from all the way in the middle, but from the middle out because I feel like that kind of lifts and opens your eyes more than if you did it all the way from the middle. Sometimes I can close off your eyes, so I want my eyes to look as big as possible. And if you're a beginner, pens like this are great to start off learning because it's kind of like you're drawing, but the only thing is obviously the hard thing is getting them even. But with practice, I mean, I still, I'm still not perfect at it. So, moving on to eyebrows. I'm going to be using... I'm going to be really simple with the eyebrows, and I'm just going to be using this Peak Cosmetics um, Natural Stain Brow Powder that I got in my Ipsy bag in January. Oh yeah, and I also got the Hikari shadow that I use, the pink one. I also got that in my January Ipsy bag and I really love it. I've used it quite a few times already. So I'm just going to contour the slightest bit and I'm just going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, that middle shade, I believe it's called Fawn. And for blush, I'm going to be using this shade by LA Colors and just lightly get that on my brush. And I'm just going to grab that highlight from the contour kit. And I'm just going over it to make sure that it's nice and blended. And I'm also going to hit the inner corners with that highlight as well. Now for mascara, I'm going to use the Lash Sensational. I still love this mascara by Maybelline. This is probably like my fifth tube. So I just applied that mascara to my bottom and top lashes and now I'm going to do my lips and I'm going to use this CoverGirl Lip Perfection Lip Liner.
And I'm going to use my Tarte Lip Surgeons um, Lip Cream. And I love this because it's really creamy and moisturizing and it smells minty. And I don't know, I just feel like for me I wouldn't wear a lip stain personally because then if you want to take it off or whatever, it's really hard. And this fades off really gracefully. 